Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Astra. Astra. This week's episode was drawn by me, Eyeflower. Yay! Uh, for this episode, I kind of had an idea to draw a uh, Valentine's Day themed superhero. Yes. Even though this character didn't turn out looking exactly like a superhero, like kind of like a girl. magical girl, magical Cupid ninja looking character. No, but um. So <laughs> wow wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the pose that was used for this, pretty much, I, when I had the idea, I think I think Corzette, me and Corzette both kind of went like, hey, how about this idea? And I was like, ooh, how about you take pictures of me so I can use them as reference um, like, to draw this. Like, to be pictures. Mm -hmm. So this was one of the pictures that was chosen. Uh, I mean, not one of the pictures. I'm not showing you guys the pictures because I don't show pictures of my face on here. But this is the pose. Well, just the basis of the pose. It's a bit more extreme because that's what I do. Uh, whenever you are inspired by comic books, you will very quickly see the poses are very over-dramatized and the extreme of what, like, they are. Um, so yeah. Pretty much as a pose where you're, like, kind of standing there and you have a heart to your chest and everything. Um, but I over-dramatized it, made the character lean over just a bit more, have a heart in front of the chest and everything. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, of course that was kind of like, hey, I think them uh, feet being far apart like that it doesn't really look nice. It looks weird. Yeah. So I changed. So it was changed. It was changed. The feet changed. Uh, I don't know when. Yeah, there we go. It changed. It looks more elegant this way. I do like it. I'm not going to force it. Here. I wish I would have recorded showing you guys the way those hands go. A lot Sorry. Of things was dang no one a lot of things. No one hit record because I so I became Corzette during the cre during the creation of this episode. Not just I didn't do it. I just didn't do it. Yeah. So um, while I'm sketching out the outfit and everything that I had drawn previously, um, just on a regular sheet of paper, really sketchy. Um, let me tell you a little story about Valentine's Day. So basically. Not basically, but this is the story. When I was in elementary school, there's this kid. His last name was Valentine. His, I want to say his whole name, but I don't know if I should. Nah, nah I want to say his whole name. But if you, if, if you know who this person is, or if you are this person, please comment. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> um, haven't seen this person since elementary school, but their na last name was Valentine. But every single time um, on the announcements, because like you know that in schools they have like the PA system, and then they'd call someone up to the office. Each time he was called up to the office or anything, they would always say his first name and then Valentine or Valentine. And then everyone in the classroom, like first you'd be like. <clears throat> he kind of walks up there, he's just like, my name is Valentine. And he kind of just kind of shuffled, like, you know, the way, like, little kids kind of shuffle when they don't want to go somewhere. Yeah. So he was doing that. And eventually, like, towards the end of the year, like, the t like he gets called in the PA system or something. And then they go, like, Jared Valentine. And then everyone in the classroom in unison goes, his name is Valentine. <laughs> like, <laughs> children are adorable. <laughs> They're also scary at the same time. But that was the, uh, the I really wanted to tell that story. I don't know why. But if you, if you know who that person is, if you know who Mr. Valentine is, please tell me. Mr. Valentine should be like. How old? Like. 18? 18, 19, maybe even 17? That's how old Valentine should be now. So if you know where Valentine is, please inform me. I would like to know. Um, so now with this picture. Everything here was made to look, all the colors were made to symbolize some part of Valentine's Day. Um, you have, um, you have a red cloak and red boots because red, passion, um, pink hair because personally I just felt like the pink hair looked nice. You have the heart-shaped visor that is reflective because I don't know, love is a true mirror into your I don't really know. <laughs> I just thought they looked cool, honestly. You have a little heart lips. I normally hate heart lips, but... I thought they looked cute for this character. You have a white bodysuit because normally in Valentine's Day things you see lighter colors, pastel and light colors associated with the pinks and the reds of Valentine's Day. And you, and you don't see, like, you don't usually see black associated with Valentine's Day, you, but you um, but you see, like, brighter colors because, like, it's all love and, like, all this other, yeah. Lovey dovey. And then you have, and then I made her, like, then I made her skin, like, a chocolatey color because, like, Valentine's Day you get chocolates. I was debating in between making the skin, like, this pink shade and this chocolatey color, but because I made the hair that vibrant pink, I didn't think the skin 
Yeah, I think it would clash or be way too much pain. It would have just, it wouldn't have stood out. So I feel like this was the best choice. Um, then there's this thing. I thought it was kind of cute. Yeah, natural little lacy things. I like it. Uh, I will be making two versions of this image. One that is the version you see me draw here, and one that will be like censored. The character will have on. Oh, too much skin. Yep. The character will have the heart filled in with a pink color or something, and the leggings will also be like. They'll be leggings, and they'll be pink too. I think they should be pink. Hmm? Should it be pink or white? I would say white because though she's wearing a full body to a full body to kind of like storm. Okay. I don't know. Do you think the heart should be like red though? Something like the red heart. Yeah. yeah. Same color as the red. Yeah. Yes. This is this is the guard with only the outside. It's gonna be outside. It can't be inside the suit. You won't be able to see it. So if you guys. Why are you going to the street? I could. So if you guys want to see each version of the image um, in the description, there will be links to both of them, edited and unedited version. I am thinking that these will be up for download. Yeah, yeah, these will be up for download. But you can you or give it go go for that. Mm -hmm. Nah, but these will be up for download. I believe. Uh, yeah, I don't see any reason for them not to be up for download. If you want to use this image for something, I don't know, he's a Valentine's Day card? Because it's supposed to kind of be like a Valentine's Day card? Tell me. <laughs> uh, tell me about it. In the comments, or somewhere. And let me know! Also, we will want to make a macro book on the show, Wedding Peach. Mm -hmm. Anyone else watch it? Um, I've been watching the first episodes. I didn't like it, as you can tell from my tone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. It was no Sailor Moon. It was no Mew Mew Power. It was no whatever other magical we're all there. It was definitely no Magical Madoka. Yeah, so here goes the shadowing, and the shining, and the shading, and the blending. This is one of the... Like, I think this is the second top most fully rendered image that I've done, because usually I don't render as much as I am here. Or at least not for images like this. Like, unless it's a character that, like, I've pre-established at the background story and everything for, I don't usually render this much. But she said, But I love her. Like, I rendered her a lot. She has little shines because, like, I mean, they're showing. You gotta make them shine, you know? You gotta make the fat bag shine. You gotta make the sisters glow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> little shines everywhere. Background, I did not think I recorded, but I recorded doing the background, and I never record doing the background, guys. But I did. I typed out a few words, as or after I save, you'll see. I typed out a few words, and I basically just remembered them around the image. Oh wait, no, we're doing the shades first. Okay, I was looking back and saying, hey, I need these shades to be better. So yeah, I did this. I blended it out. I blended it out. I blended it out. I blended it out. I blended it out, made them look shinier, shinier little glass visor thing. This is where I started typing things down. Um, it looks like a stenciled kind of thing, so I kind of liked it. Moved it around manually, and just made it look nice and pretty, lighted up. Um, their X's and O's. I should have put hugs in the beginning. Hugs and kisses. Is it a kiss? I know, I just realized that. <laughs> okay, whatever it's hugs and kisses. So X is an O. So an X is a hug, and an O is a kiss. That's, that's how that works, right? Like, they completely, they connect. Like, what's the rest of the alphabet? What are they? Tell me. <laughs> are they chopped liver? Okay. Wow. That escalated quickly. And then I put love and heart and soul. X and O. X and O. And I, I, I like it. <coughs> you have reached the end of this week's episode of... Astra! Please remember to like and subscribe because we all know that you want to be a subscriber. You want to be a very good subscriber. Or else, I'll put a hole in your heart. But then the superhero can always fulfill it, right? Oh snap! That's like an attempted. Mm -hmm. Can I be using a quote of law? Most likely. Darn it. Bye bye. Don't sue me. Bye.